Hey, this is David with the Shepherd School, and we're going to do a, a, a Faraday cage test. If you remember from my Wuxon review, I talked about you maybe getting a Mylar food uh, storage bag and uh, taking the antenna off and, and using that as an improvised Faraday cage. Well, now we're going to test and see if it actually works. Just like in the microwave EMP video, we're going to use two cell phones. And with any Faraday cage, it's important that you um, insulate your equipment from the bag. If I was going to do this um, for real, I would uh, probably use an electrostatic bag. But uh, And I brought one home, but I rightly can't remember where I put it. So we'll just use a, a Ziploc bag. Here, I might as well show you the thing works. Right there. There we go, it works. Still had one from my earlier test. We'll double bag it since I had the bag in there. Okay, cell phone. Mylar bag. Roll it up. Sandwich clip on it to keep it shut. See? No missed calls. Well, the original one. It, uh, if you look close when you do it, it takes it out of service too. So that will protect against some RF emissions. Um, 700 800 megahertz we know will work um, but you're also with EMP pulse you're also looking at strength of signal as well as um, you know the the frequency so I tried this with some walkie talkies and I would demonstrate that now but uh, my nephew took the batteries somewhere we can't quite find them um, so I can't quite show you that with a walkie talkie but uh um, it does not work. It'll the the walkie-talkie will burn right through the uh, the shielding. But um, if it was me, I would probably use this as a start, and then put it in a in a larger Faraday cage. You know, obviously shielded. Maybe wrap this up in uh, you know a, a rubber bag, a waterproof bag, or a garbage bag, and then put it inside your uh, galvanized dog food container, or whatever. Um, and use it so you have two layers which will protect you from even more but anyway it does work a little bit and uh, if you want to read more we're going to do an in-depth thing on EMP on the website www.tngun.com